What's going on guys, welcome back to another video, and so I'm going to make your remake TGI Fridays. Um, I mentioned this in the like outro, but I didn't add TGI because I couldn't fit it. I was trying to fit it on that left section there, and it, it just wasn't happening. Um, because I had to do it bigger than the other font. It, it's hard to explain, because I have to do it, I'd do it sideways if I was going to do it. I guess I could have done it upright, but sideways would make more sense. Anyways, that's enough rambling about that. Uh, this one's like way better than the old one. The old one isn't actually horrible. But looking at it again, like, this one's way better. Um, that's really all I have time to say, so yeah, that being said, enjoy the tutorial. Here is the old one, and uh, yeah, I will catch you on the flip side. Alrighty, so the special need for this is a 37 by 29, and the materials we're needing to start off are... Uh, not that inventory, well, I guess you could take a pick from that. Brick block... Black concrete, a true favorite. <laughs> Can barely see what you're doing with it, but it's fine. Light gray concrete. Spruce blanks. Stripped spruce wood or spruce logs. If you're doing this in survival, uh, GG. And also do logs because it doesn't matter. You don't you don't see the end of it. On uh, the logs are for some reason cheaper. I don't know why that works that way, but I won't ask questions. Black stained glass pins. Dark oak doors. Black stained glass blocks, and I guess we'll go. We'll go red concrete. You also need. See if I can get all these. Mangrove plank stairs and slabs. Polished deep slate slabs and blocks. Mud brick walls, black carpets, oak fence, stone bricks, stone brick stairs. I think that's everything. Um, and what you want to do is you want to start from the front left hand corner of your 37 by 29 grid Costco if you made it. You want to count backward diagonally to the right by one, and going back, you want to place ten black concrete. It's not a huge amount of black. The black actually makes the bill look a lot better, too. If I use gray, it would kind of not, like, contrast as much, and that contrast is kind of what makes the bill total. I'm trying to pull up my note sheet. Uh, bring that whole row of black up by ten. So it'll be a, a ten by eleven. By one. Hopefully everyone is having a good day or night. I am for the most part. I think it'll be a 10 by 1 by 11. No. It'd be a 1 by 10 by 11. Length times width times height. <laughs> Nerd move. Um, It's Friday. That's cool, I guess. I don't know. Wait, I'm making Fridays on a Friday. Oh my god. How did I not notice this until now? <laughs> Hopefully you should remember what side is the front and what side is the, or what side is left and right, I guess. Um, and I guess front and back. Come to the front and you want to count to the second block in on the right side and going right, you want to place black stained glass block, two dark oak doors, and a black glass. Do a similar thing from the back of it, so you actually want to count in a block and then just go right with four black glass. So you have this. It's kind of like a table almost from the overhead view. Bring each black glass up by four. And that, that, that will make you bring the doors up with three black glass to give you uh, some sort of symmetry. I know this is a lot of black and it's kind of hard to see, but it's fine. Um, to the right of the far row of black glass, you want to uh, place a row of light gray concrete that matches in height. Cool. I don't know why we're working this way. Bring each row of light gray concrete back a row. And then also bring the front one, front one forward a row, like that. So you have this, again, now from your overhead. You can technically bring that one also in by one, although I probably won't for the inside. Well, we'll see what I do with that. I'm not actually sure yet. Yeah, look at that piece of garbage. Um, <laughs> what you want to do is you want to... I'm going to focus on the two separately, however, uh, if you want to just match it, then you can, because it's pretty self-explanatory. On top of the, uh, three light gray concrete here at the right, you just want to place a row of spruce planks. Actually, yeah, just do it on both. Just do it on every top light gray concrete. Bring the furthermost front spruce plank and the furthermost back spruce plank left by four. So it'll connect to the black concrete. Then bring every spruce plank up by five. So it'll be as tall as the uh, black concrete now. And then this is, I think, the most questionable section of the build. 
Um, I was looking at an image of one, and it had this, and this was, I think, the nicest one that I could find. Most of them have, like, a really weird, almost brick texture, except it's, like, red, light gray, gray, all sorts of weird colors. And I was like, yeah, no. So, I think this actually turned out pretty well, though. It, right now, it looks weird because it's freestanding, but once we get this section, I think this section kind of catches your eye because of the, uh, red on the black. Um, and it kind of isn't as noticeable in the scheme of things. Because it kind of also, like cuts the build with the black on either side because you have it there and then you'll have it at the top right not really the bottom right but you get the point all right now we're going to ignore uh doing it on both sides and you want to come to the front and you have this little row of three light gray con well you have three rows of light gray concrete take the back one and go back diagonally to the right with the brick block bring it right by five then place strip spruce wood facing up all, all strip spruce woods will face up and down two dark oak doors Strip spruce wood. Eight brick blocks. Strip spruce wood. Two dark oak doors. Strip spruce wood. And then seven brick blocks. Also, one thing before I continue. I don't know if I said two strip spruce wood there. I might have. They're all one. That You're never going to see two on this build. Uh, I guess since we're uh, in the groove of things... Go back here at the right side with 17 brick blocks. And then just stop there for now. I questioned that a little bit because I was like, wait, is it a total of 17 or is it back by 17? But I'm I was back. Because I have the back total number. I don't have how much you're supposed to go left. Which doesn't make sense, but it makes sense in my mind. So that's what we're going to go with. Um... On top of that row of brick, you want to basically follow the same pattern, and what you want to place is... Strip spruce wood. Two black stained glass pans. Strip spruce wood. Two spruce planks. Strip spruce wood. Skip over the door. Doors. Strip spruce wood. Two spruce planks. Strip spruce wood. Two black stained glass pans. Strip spruce wood. Two spruce, spruce planks, good god. Strip spruce wood, skip over the doors, strip spruce wood, two spruce planks, strip spruce wood, two black stained glass panes, strip spruce wood, spruce plank, and then going back, strip spruce wood, two black stained glass panes, strip spruce wood, and then the rest of this row wants to be spruce planks. Like that. Um... I actually originally had a smooth quartz, not strip spruce, but the smooth quartz popped way too much, so I went with strip spruce because it, it still gives it enough of a contrast because I think it, the windows kind of look weird if you don't do that, or at least to me, uh, so I figured I'd do that, why not? Uh, you can get rid of your dark oak doors and black stained glass blocks and get out spruce stairs and we'll go, frick, that was the thing I wanted to get, spruce doors, forgot we needed those because they're, they're useful on the side. And what you want to do is you want to copy that entire row one more time, except above the dark oak doors, you want to place spruce stairs. Just kind of adding a little bit of, uh, I guess, detail to your build. Again, this is another part that I kind of struggled figuring out what I actually wanted to do with. I tried, I didn't try window, actually. I was gonna, and then I just never did. But uh, I tried playing around with the strip spruce a couple of ways, and that I think, was, I think was the best I got. There you go. While we still have the materials, I'm going to tell you to come back to the back right, and you want to bring this bottom brick block here at the back right back with a spruce door, five brick blocks, left with 28, and then forward by 16. like that another thing that i just realized like it actually kind of helps you because if i like how i kind of bounce back there uh, it actually makes you like i guess confirm the direction which i just now thought about it so i guess i don't know grids are very helpful because i don't have to know every single number i can kind of use the grid to be like okay this is three but i mean for the most part i should know you know um you should be connecting diagonally to that row this light gray concrete here by the way both connect diagonally uh, and then from that end brick block, the last one that you placed here, you want to go towards the back with strip spruce wood, two black stained glass panes, strip spruce wood. Let me make sure I actually know what this is. I don't. I don't. Uh, two spruce planks, strip spruce wood, 
two black stained glass pans, and then a script spruce wood. Uh, copy that little row one more time. And then every brick block here at the back, just a little bit on the left and a little bit on the right, you want to place two spruce planks on top of it, and then one on top of that spruce door. Once we do that, I want to say something about that window at the back left, too. Like this. Now, these two windows, uh, this one's going to stay no matter what I do. However, this one, I don't exactly know what I want to do with, because I'm going to have the bathrooms on the side, um, I originally wasn't, I, was, I originally was thinking of having the kitchen on the side, but it just worked better to have it on that side. So, we'll figure out exactly how I manage this. I could, granted, also put the bath, like a bathroom there, and then, I don't know, one somewhere else. Although, I feel like they're more logical next to each other. So, I just, uh, you know, that, I mean, that's still enough space to get a couple bathrooms. I probably, I don't know what i do. I guess I'd have to do single things because of that space. Unless I removed a window, we'll see. That window might, uh, go bye-bye, though, just... To, just so you're aware. Uh, now what you want to do is you want to place two rows of spruce wood planks on top of all of that. You can only do one if you want. Um, just given the option here. Because the second row is not going to be visible. It will be visible from the inside, which is why I did two instead of doing one and then a row of red. Because I want to figure out exactly how I want to work with that. There you go. Um, take that top row of spruce planks and you want to surround it with red concrete. Uh, at least we're working on the maybe, by the way. Not not that section. That section doesn't count. Uh, just to clarify. And then it'll connect to the light red concrete on actually both the uh, back kind of left and then the front left. Just like that. You see these walls actually would line up, dude. Like, this would be a whole section. So, I mean, if you really wanted to take this off and then just, like, have it like this, I don't think that's a great idea, but, I mean, hey, you do you. Um, on top of that uh, little row of spruce planks that we just surrounded in red concrete, you want to place five rows of black concrete on top of that. So it should be one row shorter. Yeah, one row shorter than the uh, little section at the left here. That I'm just saying you could hypothetically remove if you really wanted to. Now, um, I forgot the number on this part, so I'll have to check this in a sec. Um, although not right now, because it's not actually the next thing that we're doing. But, um, yeah, counting on this part's gonna be where, uh, the big black concrete struggle will come in, because, let's be honest, whenever you're working with black concrete, there's at least one thing that you screw up with. A lot of the time, for me, voice crack, it's, I'm filling in a large area, and then I, like, because the way that I like to fill things in, sometimes I miss a block, and I'm like, did I miss a block there? Is that just like, am I just stupid? And I just can't tell for like 10 minutes. And I'm like, okay, guess not. Or I did. Normally I'll notice it because I'll like, especially on Little Nightmares 2 and I'm doing it like for kind of below the floor. I'll notice the void underneath. And I'm like, yeah, that's not normal. <laughs> uh, that happened on actually all second chapter, I think. I don't think it happened on first chapter because I haven't really... Yeah, I guess I never did anything with that on the first chapter, because all the ravines I did recently. It's interesting. Alright, there you go. I think you can clear inventory. I think you're done with the, with everything you have. Are you? I think so. I'm going to tell you to do one thing, though, and that's... Take this section here at the left, and it kind of looks like a C. You just want to connect the right side together with spruce at the top row. This will just help us mark something out later. It's not really that important, just nice to do. Uh, you do need your black stained glass panes again, actually. So when you clear inventory, uh, I guess uh, get them out first, because why not? Uh, then get out black carpet. Mud brick walls. Oak fences. Polished deep slate slabs, where we're still not going to have enough. Polished deep slate blocks. Oh my god. Gray concrete. Stone bricks. And stone brick stairs. We'll do the letters last. That seems fair. Um, so what I'm going to tell you to do here. I screwed up the grid. Uh, what I'm going to tell you to do here is take this like main section of the build here where you have the two doors, the big long section. You want to break three rows of gray concrete moving forward. I think it's only three. Yeah, it is in line. Uh, into the floor and just replace them with gray concrete. 
So, this section's kind of dumb. I'm not gonna lie. It was originally going to be... I was originally gonna put C tier, but I decided to probably sacrifice that idea. I mean, I might add a few. And just turn it into a nice little balcony. Because I realized that if I made it go too far out, it would look weird. So I just wanted to make a balcony, because having the build like this looks stupid in my opinion, and I needed something to kind of make this wall look better. Now granted, like, you could replace those doors with windows, and then just go with that. I think that would look arguably better. You can argue that, I think. Um, but it, it's up to you. Uh, but what I did is, along the front row of grey concrete here, I placed going left to right. Actually, I'm not gonna say left to right. Uh, from the left side going right, play, I placed a black stained glass pane and a mud brick wall, and then I did the same from the front right going left. I then connected this black stained glass pane at the right back uh, to the back wall, or I guess to the wall, and then connected the mud brick walls together with black stained glass panes. Each black stained glass pane I, blo I ha brought up with a black carpet. How long this will take me? Let's see him. How did I place like three carpets? What? Oh my god, why is this so hard? I did not struggle before like this. Good god. Okay, hold on, let me. I hate carpets so much. Okay, we got it. <laughs> Bring each mud brick wall up with two oak fence. Then a polished deep slate block. Connect the blocks together with upside down slabs. And then bring the uh, left one left with one upside Actually, bring them both uh, out with an upside down slab. As in right or left. Uh, bring that row of upside down slabs back with another row of upside down slabs. And then bring that row of ups and down slabs up with a row of normal slabs. That was a very confusing way to do that, but it's fine. We got it. There you go. See, that looks a little bit better. Obviously, it still looks weird because we just have a black void at the top, which we'll focus on in a second here. Speaking of that, each top black concrete or spruce would blank you want to place a stone brick on top of. If you want to wait to fill in your um, roof... Well, hopefully you should know, if this isn't your first tutorial, um, you should know how the letters work. If not, welcome. Um, I do things questionably. Um, although I feel like doing... Okay, hold on, let me actually just say this next thing. Uh, surround each stone brick section with ups and down stone brick stairs. One thing that, like, I don't like to see in tutorials specifically is people making the interior and the exterior simultaneously. Now, I think there are certain circumstances. Hello Neighbor, I think, is one where, like, or, like, games in general, y you can argue. Like, Granny, well, Granny doesn't even have a real exterior. But, I don't know, that just, and I'm not gonna call anybody out, although, you know. Um, hold on. Uh, then you wanna fill in each roof in with stone bricks, respectively, and you can do whatever block you want, you don't have to do stone bricks, you just, you know, I just prefer stone bricks. Because the thing with that is, is with the interior thing, if you don't want to follow the interior, you gotta, like, skip around. And I noticed that, because I, um, I have a world with a bunch of people's tutorials, just for fun, because, I don't know, I like building other people's builds sometimes. Uh, just fun. I don't know. Not to steal their ideas or anything, totally not, that's a, that's a joke. I don't. Um. Sometimes I'll notice, like, uh, accidentally, though, builds will look the same. Or there's the Alpha 1, I think it was Alpha 1. Yeah. Um, I don't remember what part it was, or episode, whatever, it was either Let's Build or, I think it was Tutorial. Someone said it was, like, similar to a, a different one, and I was like, because it's the same thing. It's like, it's not like we're trying to build, like, a rough general thing, we're building the exact same thing. And I just found that funny, I don't know. <laughs> uh, but yeah. I'm not hating, and again, this is the thing. I feel like with a lot of these, I'm not, I'm not gonna say I'm big, but like, Piano, or sorry, Life and Foundation God, Gaming Warehouse, me... We all kind of have a mutual respect. Like, I'm not going to go and be like, oh yeah, this guy sucks at building. I'm going to have mutual respect for, a, like, most Minecraft builders. Because, you know, I'm, there's no reason to hate them. I mean, I'm, it's not a competition. We all can have fun. We all can build in Minecraft. It doesn't matter who has more subscribers or more clout or whatever. It just, you know, we're just having a good time. That's all that matters. Even if I don't specifically talk to any of them, you know. I still am like, yeah, okay, cool guy. Uh, but Gaming Warehouse, Life and Foundation, I all kind of, we're pretty chill.
And we also all enjoy each other's uh, building. We always, uh, Ken always says my buildings are better than his and he's wrong. Uh, <laughs> clear inventory now and get out mangrove planks, mangrove stairs, and mangrove slabs. The mangrove trio that we finally needed. And then what you want to do is you want to come to the left side and you want to count to the fourth red concrete moving in. Count to the second black concrete up. Good luck finding it. And place going off three mangrove planks. It should be kind of centered. Bring the top two blocks each right with an ups and on slab. Leave a two block gap from the bottom of that. Place three planks moving up again. Top block again right with an ups and on slab. Then right with a stair facing right. Down with an ups and on stair facing right. Then bring that stair left with a slab and also down with a plank. Leave a one block gap from the bottom of that. Place three planks moving up. Leave a one block gap from the bottom of that. Place three planks moving up. Top block right with an upside down slab and then a stair facing right. Down with a plank. Upside down stair facing right and then left with the slab. Leave a one block gap from the bottom of that. Place two planks moving up and then a stair facing left on top. Right with an upside down slab. Right with a stair. Down with two planks and then connect the two middle, or I guess the two top technically blocks or middle middle row together with a slab. Leave a two block gap on the bottom of that, place two planks moving up. Bring that top plank left and right with an upside down slab and then bring either slab up with a plank. Leave a two block gap on the bottom of that, place a slab. Right of that a stair facing left. Up from that upside down stair facing left. Left with an upside down slab. Up with an upside down stair facing right and then right with an upside down slab. Unrelated, but like whenever I move the like black around the letters really just like it moves with it It's really weird it like for a second kind of fades into the letters. I think it's just the TV I don't think it's uh, the game, but it, I've noticed that since I've gotten the ps5 the black concrete is really trippy But uh, yeah, what's it on that ladies and gentlemen that is the X tier for your remake TGI Friday is complete One other thing I didn't put TGI on this one I just couldn't fit it. I was gonna try to put it on that uh, tall section at the left, or the taller, I guess, the, the kind of tower section, I always call it. And it, it just, I didn't. I'm now realizing that I mentioned that. It feels like a lot of my builds are almost reskins of each other, because I always seem to have that at the front left. Every, it's always the front left, too. The old Fridays had it. Um, oh, you shouldn't see that one. Th there's other things. Uh, ironically, a lot of the things around here don't, because either they're older, or they aren't even the uh, uh, restaurants. But yeah, once you, uh, uh -huh. thank you guys for watching, if you guys did enjoy this video, have you been to your dinner, and I will see you on the next one, bye!